Better not go live, boy. Oh shit, Simi and Jimmy went live. Better watch that. Finally some real entertainment. Oh shit, Simi and Jimmy went live. Better watch that. Hmm. Finally some real entertainment. I agree. Oh shit, Simi and Oh, what the hell? Better watch that. This is a weird stream I'm watching. I agree. Oh shit, Simi and Oh, what the hell? Better watch that. Hmm. I'm done watching whatever this is, but hey, what is up? Rusty Rain Supreme. His his blood rained down from the guillotine. Bionicle Forever, cool kid, Purple Colonel. My dear friend, Purple Colonel, who has a genuine hope that I will watch and review every single episode of The Big Bang Theory with him. We might We might get 10 episodes in, Purple. Don't get your hopes too high. Uh, Patchy Jones is here. Uh, maybe I should remove his mod. He's got too many icons next to his name now. I started reading the Trifler's Good Book Man. I don't know. You started reading. Like, are the first chapters that good? Like, wait till you get to Don's Bloody Monday. Which somebody thought that was going to be some sort of dental procedure gone wrong. But oh no. The Rusty Cage fake death thing made me think about how you and all of his other friends would react if he actually died. I, I'm i not going to say anything about him being alive or dead, because I think that the truth is out there that he is dead. But I would like to imagine the funeral of Rusty Cage would have been exactly the same regardless. Exactly the same. When are we getting more Young Sheldon reviews? Evidently in a couple days. Uh, that's going to be included with the Big Bang Theory. We're going to review one episode of each show and see you know, who had the better pilot, who had the better second episode. How many kindergartners could I fight? I mean, they're not, they're not really that strong. And I don't know if they have enough collaboration to really do anything to me. Like, ideally, you grab one by the ankles and you spin in a circle like a tornado to batter the other children as they come at you. Uh, what if Boogie died? I guess Wings would have to find a new co-host and his uh, child bride might have to go to the retirement home, find a new boyfriend. That Cumbie guy seemed real torn up. Yeah, Cumbie's going through it. What was going through your head when you wrote chapter 11? Well, let's take a look. My handy dandy trifler is on my bookshelf of One Piece. Let's, what is chapter 11? Let's find out. That, I forgot I dedicated the book to Wojak and Pepe. That's, that's classic 19-year-old monkey. Uh-oh. Chapter called Loss of Innocence. That's probably not good. <laughs> Who knows? What happened in Chapter 11? Loss of Innocence. I can't wait to find out. I imagine some innocence gets lost. But folks, this is a chillin' like a villain stream, which means I don't have to pretend to entertain you. I can just sit here and chill like the villainous man I am. There's no bigs here to talk to. It's just me in the chat. What's the gun on the bookshelf for? That's what it's for. It shoots out liquor. When's Iggy coming on? Uh, Iggy's been on Monkey and Bigs 365. He was on the... The episode, what will be on the Wheel of Torture that we never ended up filming. Yeah, guns are cool, I agree. It's fucking hot in my house. I pray to my strap. Randy the Wild Horse. What is up, my friend? 
Shotguns are better. Yeah, I don't have a shotgun yet. When's the next wheel of cursed meals? Probably not going to happen. I think we're going to do a different kind of wheel. Jimmy must protect himself from crime. I mean, the only crime that's going to be committed with, with that gun is it a crime against myself. You should show us all the One Piece pages to support best guy ever. Yeah, should we talk about best guy ever got all of his YouTube channels deleted. He, fuck, he had a One Piece channel. He was showing too many panels of One Piece. They said, ah, we got to take that down. That's copyright. And uh-oh. I mean, how, n not to blame the victim, but how fucking stupid do you have to be to link all of your YouTube accounts? There is literally zero advantage. Every account I have is under a different Gmail. You're just begging to have your life's work deleted because you're too lazy to make a new fucking email. So maybe I am blaming the victim. That's pretty fucking retarded. Who? Yeah, not really anybody anymore. Japanese copyright is draconian. Uh, I, I, a lot of the channels I watch show panels, and they've never taken down them. So I wonder if it's just because Nate... Like, goes out of his way to hate what he's reading in One Piece. Like, maybe they're like, oh, this guy's a hater. Let's just fuck him over. Oh, I'm looking handsome. Thank you. I live in your walls. Wheel of Cursed Meals got old. It's all the same shit you guys throwing up after drinking some shit from a blender. Uh, not really, but I'll accept your... <laughs> Your thought there. I will never read One Piece. That's fine. Most people won't. I've actually never shit my pants as far as I can remember. Uh, that's kind of a weird thing. Like t people having actual big turds coming out of their fucking ass while they're wearing clothes. You gotta have a little self-control. Would I have Ben Saint on a podcast? I do not think he wants to speak to me. <laughs> Wheel of Meads? That would be a good idea. I would do that. I mean, I'm sure as a child, I... Um, as a baby. <laughs> but I'm saying as far as I remember, like, I don't have many thoughts from when I was four. Any plans uh, for videos on the main channel after the Medea series is over? I'm going to keep making monkey box reviews because there's, you know, a million monkey movies to cover. Uh, and then there's just, there's always miscellaneous uh, you know, potpourri ideas to, uh, to make. I did finish the new Medea video this morning. It's 27 minutes. And currently it was, uh, when I uploaded it, it was blocked worldwide for copyright. And... I could uh, replace all of the footage in the review with just still images like I've done before. And that's probably what I'll have to do. But right now I'm trying to fight it. Like I submitted the appeal and I had to give them like my whole address and everything. And if they reject it, I get a channel strike, which is again, fucking retarded as hell. But yeah, there's a chance that, my, you know, my artistic vision can be seen and I won't have to fuck up my own video. Room tour? Uh, you know what? I mean, I, the microphone maybe I can't bring with me, but the, the camera I could. I there's not much to see in here. And I'm sure I've given a tour before. Let's see. So that, that's my back wall with my <laughs> my uh, custom. I guess I didn't even order that. Just a uh, fan made that for me, and I drove to his house to pick it up, that painting. Uh... Got some posters back there, more fan-made stuff. Got the some wheels of punishment and shit and wheel of whatever the fuck. Rusty's uh, comic book posters that he f fucking folded up to send to people. Uh, ceiling fan. Let's see, Pepe the Frog is way over there. Got a survivor, hidden immunity idol, and a buff. Is it Kino poster? Uh, my One Piece shrine with a sword and a bunch of shit. Hey, how's that? Is that a tour? This is all of you. <laughs> That's you guys right there. Uh, anything else? That's the tour.
How are the cats? They're uh, eating treats because I needed to get them out of this room. So I bribed them with treats. Randy, I appreciate that more than you know, but people do not need to share this stream on social media. I, I mean, if if I shared a stream like this of somebody that wasn't even me, I would be embarrassed. Bathroom tour? I got two bathrooms. You want the the master bath or the slave bath? How many donos for you to do Medea green face in the next video? If they really do keep taking down my Medea reviews, I might have to redo all of them on camera in green face. Randy, you don't need to be sorry. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying it, there's no need for it. <laughs> Every room is a bathroom when you own the place. That's true. I mean, this would be my goon cave, Sneed. Uh, this is, uh, if I was going to goon in any cave, it would probably be this one. The Green Fifth's Compromise. Every room's a bathroom when you shit your pants, yep. Hey, Lurker, you're here live, I can't believe it. Oh, can Patchy's wife play Queen Cobra? It's rough. I mean, I know a lot of you probably don't follow King Cobra, but he, he's he got this girlfriend, and she is one of the most deplorable, disgusting humans I've ever witnessed. Not just physically ugly, but like her soul is dark and evil. She's a bad, bad person, and and he has her trapped at his apartment for weeks at a time and it's just bad go watch some of these compilation videos like last night she was being very abusive towards him it's uh i would be upset if they didn't deserve each other what video games have i been playing recently honestly nothing i've been getting back into reading a little bit If King Cobra can get pussy, this entire chat got no excuse. I would say he would have been better off continuing the dry spell than to associate with this horrible woman. Does Native Son still hold up? I don't know how it would how it wouldn't. I haven't reread it in a decade, so I don't know. If I was in the Matrix movie, what character would I be? I'd be, uh, what was his name? Uh, he, he, I said in my letterbox review that he did nothing wrong, but I don't remember his character's name. He's like the, he's the one who enjoyed eating the steak. He said, fuck your disgusting real world slop. I don't mind living in the Matrix if I get to enjoy the steak. And, you know, everything we experience in life is just the perception of your brain anyway. So yeah, if it tastes like a steak and it, it chews like a steak, fuck it. Ralphie from the Sopranos. That's where I recognized him from. That's funny. I didn't know that was him. Cypher. Yep. Great character. No, not Trinity. I miss seeing you have grease on your face. Yep. Yeah. Back just for you. It might just be sweat, but it is very sweaty in here. Ralphie was probably also the best Sopranos character. I might just really like that actor. <laughs> she was a hua. <laughs> Crazy hot take. Uh, I don't think it is. I guess I, I'm not plugged into Sopranos discourse to know what a hot take would be. Did Ralphie kill the horse Pai oh my? I don't think so. I he he seemed pretty genuine when Tony was confronting him about it. Uh rip in disease, ripen disease. Thank you for the five bucks. He says that's what's up. I do still have a P.O. box. It is four seven three 
Uh, P.O. Box 473, Ames, Iowa, zip code 50010. <laughs> she was a who or is. Uh, David Chase says that he did. Well, who am I to argue with the creator? But uh, I, Ralph, I don't know. He convinced me. I've not watched The Wire yet. We were supposed to do Is It Kinos like every month reviewing a season at a time, and then we just didn't. Where's Aggie? Uh, I think he's at home. He was supposed to go to like a baseball game, but it got canceled for weather, so maybe he can call in. <laughs> What's with The Wire? Good question. Um, Duck, you shouldn't be... Like, if you are feeling genuine positive emotions because you're catching the stream, you need to reevaluate, like, every part of your life. I'm literally just fucking sitting here reading the chat. It's Friday night. <laughs> how, how does this cause you <laughs> glee of any kind? I'm not even happy. <laughs> Can we get a Sopranos review? It's better on rewatch. I'll definitely re rewatch it probably within the next five years. I'm feeling negative emotions from catching the stream. That's my intention. Maybe I should just start doing the depression chamber tonight. I want people to be upset. I like the chill streams more than the podcasts. Well, there you go. Uh, Ripen disease goes again. Kung Pao enter the fist PCP review when? I did have, I've got this little board up on my wall here where I write down all the things that I'm going to do. And one of the columns is future is it Kinos. And I did have that on there at one point, And then eventually I erased it. Currently we have uh, on my list, Columbo to boldly flee, Godzilla Kong and Monkey Man. Those are the next four is it Kinos I plan on recording other than whatever wins the upcoming PCP poll. But if you guys talk me into it, I can go add Kung Pao to the list right now. I'll do it. Will Let's Plays ever return? Uh, yeah, they could. Show the list so we could steal the views. Again, folks, <laughs> there's, there's nothing here worth even stealing. You want to steal 1,800 views on a podcast? You can have them. You can have them. It, it's, I mean, not to discount all of you and the value you bring to my life, but it's not really anything that I'd be like, you know, fighting tooth and nail to hold on to. Uh, what up, Monkey Man? This is from Riley. Happy to be here. We're getting Dragon Ball content soon. I want to hear the Monkey and Eggman Dragon Ball discussion. I think Eggy and I are, have given up on our watch through of, what, what's the superhero what the fuck's the new dragon ball dragon ball super i wanted to get to the final arc because i heard it was some big epic tournament but we, we got to like the goku black section and it we just got kind of bored so i might never finish that maybe we'll just go review dragon ball and dragon ball z uh my kong godzilla experience will be very different i forgot patchy I, i'm meeting you at a theater tomorrow to see that but i don't remember it being some special is this like a 4d experience or something <laughs> what the hell am i getting into with this monkey movie yeah i think we will review civil war ex machina used to be one of my favorite movies so i'm down for anything that that director wants to make Why is the time on my TV an hour behind? Now that's just what time it is here. Do you know about time zones? You know, <laughs> are you a New Yorker or something? Like you think everybody's just living where you live? I am very hyped for season two of Velma. Uh, genuinely, I think those will be some fun podcasts. I, I already know what Florian's gonna say. I'm hoping they introduce Scooby-Doo. I should review $5. I think I did review that at some point. GT is better than Super. I agree. I did love GT. I did finish that. 
I'm holding off on watching a Serbian film. Is it Kino? Because I want to watch it with my dad first, as you recommended. We do spoil the whole movie, but spoilers are a state of mind. I think, if anything, knowing what's going to happen enriches your watching experience. Thoughts on the believability of the Texas-California alliance in the Civil War movie? Depending on when the movie takes place, I could almost buy it just because a lot of Californians can't afford California anymore and they're moving to Texas. And if you go to where Kino Corner lives down in Austin, it, it, you might as well be in some liberal mecca. You're going to see some naked, weird people with all sorts of colored hair running around in the streets. So I think Californians are slowly taking over Texas. So it might be a purple state in the next you know, 30 years. Who knows? Does Rox have a clown nose? You better fucking believe he will. If Rox is Buggy's dad and then Buggy becomes Pirate King, it's pure Kino. I've gotten like 40 emails from Discord saying that they updated their fucking policy. Like, why, why am I getting it so many times? <laughs> like, is it a glitch? Has anybody else gotten this more than once? I've gotten it 40 fucking times. I'm going to have to block them, I guess. I don't know. What was my electric and water bill this month? I think my utilities and, and water combined are like around 200 or something per month. Is Dan Schneider Kino? He has certainly created a lot of Kino. He himself, I'm not too sure. I've never met him. Am I a manlet? It depends on which country I'm in. <laughs> in this one, yes. When I went to Argentina, oh man, uh, I was the king of chads. I don't know who Reformed Stoic is. Amanda show greater than SNL? I mean, that's not even a question. I, I feel like that's an objective fact. Uh, I've been trying to get Drake Bell on a podcast for years, but I guess he's busy. Will Enel return in the next 50 chapters? I think he, there's a good chance. He, he maybe he'll throw, uh, he'll show up in El Baff. You know, he did have some Thor-type attacks. Might fit. I've never watched any of Victorious. That was a little past my time. Wasn't Drake Bell exposed as a, a pedo? I, I don't know the full story, but if he's a free man walking and, you know, he served his time and he was just texting somebody, never touched nobody... It's whatever. Like, he, he got fucked up the ass when he was 14. So I'm going to give him a little leeway. He did not kidnap anybody. In the documentary, the quiet on set, like, they very explicitly say he had no physical harm to anybody. I'm so frigged on weed, I forgot it. This was live. Well, what can we say to fuck with this guy while he's high as fuck? I was not in Rusty's will, no. He, he left everything to Trash Rat, his roommate. Blaze is currently sitting on the Snorlax beanbag, or at least he was uh, as of 30 minutes ago. What other shows for little girls do you think Quentin Reviews can have long retrospectives on? I did catch one episode of the Mary Kate and Ashley show, like when they were like six year old detectives or something, and I thought of doing a parody of Quentin Reviews, like a, like a four hour analysis of this 22 minute episode of a show for little girls. Because uh, you know, there's a lot of things you could riff on in there, and like uh, they, they do some traveling by map where, you know, it shows like the map of the United States and then like all the places they're going. And I, you know, I had some jokes about that, but. Four hours, that'll be a, that'll be hard to sit through.
He was texting a girl and didn't know she was underage. As soon as he found out, he cut her off. He never slept with her. Uh, if King Nexus says it, it has to be true. The guillotine is just a knife, but bigger. His career lives and dies on the knife song. That Yeah, that is pretty poetic. It really bookended his whole life. What's this about? It's about a villain who just loves chilling. You are the truther, King Nexus. I, you know what? I'll make you a mod because you're a trustworthy man who speaks the truth. There you go. That's all it takes, folks. <laughs> if you defend Drake Bell with information that I cannot confirm, you get a, a mod for some reason. Why am I doing this instead of Depression Chamber? Because Depression Chamber is for Sunday when you're having the Sunday night scaries. Uh-oh. Gotta go to school in the morning. Gotta go to work in the morning. I Thank God I have not had to feel that since I was like 12. But what a time. If you're going to do a Quentin-esque review, you'll have to learn to fucking hate Trump. I think the big issue with doing a Quentin Reviews parody is that I'd have to watch one of his videos to know what to make fun of. And, like, there's not enough donations in the world to make me want to do that. I've seen clips out of context from his videos, and it's like, like four hours into a 12-hour video, and it's completely unedited. And he's just, like, kind of talking and mumbling, and he fucks up, and he just doesn't cut it out. Like, it... It's artificially long because he's not cutting out the fuck-ups and the dumb shit. Whatever. Jimmy, let me pull up and roll fat blunts with some Mick Michigan chud. Hey, if you're in the neighborhood, I'll, I'll smoke fat blunts with anybody. Quentin legit makes terrible videos. Well, he gets a million views in a day, so if the people like it, they like it. Some people are underrated gems, some people are overrated trash, but the trash is making the money. Drake Bell is a saint who's going to die for our sins. I don't know, Jimmy. That seems like pandering. <laughs> Put user in timeout. <laughs> <laughs> is blaze allowed on the kitchen counters motherfucker you think i could stop him <laughs> my cats can do whatever they want i don't care the way i see it it's their house too if they want to stand on the counters and literally stand on my lap while i'm taking a shit that's fine <laughs> they can go wherever they want who would win in a fight quentin or digi quentin first of all too much of a pussy to punch a trans woman in the face so uh, digi will just win by default i will eat z cat hairs what do you you think i put my food directly on the countertop before i eat it what the fuck are you talking about i've never eaten fucking cat hair what do you do Remember when Ned's Declassified cast got called out making fun of the Drake Bell thing? Yeah, I think we talked about that on Mumkey and Big Show. Yeah, Salty, if you want to submit uh, art to be the new channel artwork, uh, you can still send that in. And I'll, I'll be looking at them at some point on a video. Quentin goes on long-ass trauma dumps in those Nickelodeon videos. He starts complaining about being depressed and a loser for no reason. <laughs> I know uh, Florian told me at, at the beginning of one of them, Quentin said, like, as the series goes on, you guys can watch my weight loss journey. And then at the end, he's even fatter. <laughs> that could be something good, too, like at the beginning of the video. <laughs> Like just, it just as it keeps going, I keep stuffing my shirt more and more. 
Erich is so desirable. I agree. Major D using that uh, troll rusty cage emote. Beautiful. Where's the link to the artwork? Uh, that's up to you to send to me. Hour one, man, this Nickelodeon show is so good. Hour seven, I'm so depressed, I'm so fat. If you type Himsel Games Psy with an E, Florian's video won't show up. What are you even talking about? Jacob, you've not missed anything. We were not all talking shit about Jacob W. this whole time, so do not rewind. I promise you we were not, and I would not lie about that. <sighs> what a sleepy Friday night, folks. Yeah, Erich is pretty tall. He's probably like 6'1 or something. Becoming a him cell every time I listen to Izakino. So you're like an incel for Florian? Would you ever talk to that crazy man who stole the Shaq statue after the short film festival? Am I supposed to remember what you're talking about? <laughs> Somebody stole a Shaq statue. I guess I would talk to him. Oh, you, you mean it wasn't a Shaq statue. It was, uh, I remember now. It was, <laughs> um, what name did he go by? God damn it. Uh, Nicholas Cruiser? Is uh, it wasn't a statue. That's why I was confused. Yeah, I, I want to have him on again. Kiko, I I would love to believe you, but I I'm not going to be going to a Taco Bell restaurant. Do I think Sai got arrested? I don't. Probably not. Have I listened to any more Tim Pool? Like his music? No. And definitely not his fucking web show. Brian Krusenstein. Did Erich lose weight? I, I only see Erich like once every three years in person, so I have no clue. Those old Psy Gets Monkey Into videos. I doubt I have anything like that, but I'll take a look just for fun. It, me and Sai did uh, like a weekly podcast where we would recommend a piece of media to the other guy. I don't know why we did that, but we did. Where did I save all my shit on this computer? Uh, Monkey Jones 2. Sai gets... Oh, I've got all of them. Yeah, I've got all of them right here. Which one do you want? Wow. What should we listen? What are we going to watch? Which one? I look like your cousin who got arrested. That's good to know. Let's see. Portal 2. Oh, wait. What? I need to expand these names. I can't even see what he's trying to get me into. This will be interesting. Also, I got my fucking... Sai so tries to get Monkey into gender bending. Okay. Here we go. And parents in the next room over. So Let me know if it sounds okay. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, everyone. My name is Sai, and I am joined by Monkey Jones. I'm Monkey Jones here. Everyone hashtag subscribe to Sai. No, no, Monkey. If you're going to play a Monkey character, you would have to say hashtag unsubscribe from Psy. And then you'd have to follow up with implying you were subscribed in the first place, Winky Face. Mm-hmm, of course. Now, Psy, I, I have some bad news about the last podcast. Now, here's my question. Were, were me and Psy ever actually friends? That's a question for the poll. 
were Mumkey, oops, not where, were Mumkey and Sai actually friends? Let's see. And maybe we'll find out by listening. Propane salesman donated five to say hello, big man, or perhaps a monkey boy. I don't believe we reached a consensus the other day. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, that was you. Yeah. Yeah, we couldn't figure out if you meant me or Biggs. <laughs> Uh, according to the poll, uh, two thirds of you are very confident. Sai and I were not friends. <laughs> Acquaintances, surely. Yeah, I don't. I I think we talked on Discord quite a bit. I, we were at least in like a few group chats together. And yeah, I never met a met five guys. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Uh, uh, you think I'm trying to deny my past affiliation? I'm just trying to remember if I actually considered him a friend or if we were just doing shows together. That's what I'm trying to figure out by listening to this. Uh, well, I, I think I know what it is, but please go ahead. You put forth the very ambitious goal of 600 dislikes. Was and it? Unfortunately, <laughs> I mean, I, for our audience, I think we could have done it. Honestly. Um, I would say it's definitively ambitious when we only made half of our goal, I think. I think we we're around <laughs> 300. So I well, think that's the definition of ambitious. Where the So I guess we were trying to get 600 dislikes on a podcast. It's like the guy in the office who you talk to at the coffee machine when both of you get to one, but you would never talk outside the office. But I, Sai and I did talk outside of the office is the thing. So I don't know, but 69% uh, say no, we were not friends. The cats are doing good, Drew. I sound older in the recording? I think I sound way younger in that. My, I feel like my voice is a more high-pitched and like the microphone is shittier, but maybe I'm just insane. You guys sure made fun of him a lot on the PCP. Well, and on Is It Kino, and basically, you know, Florian's YouTube channel. Reality is is half of what you were aspiring to. Maybe, or it could be that we weren't ambitious. And Somebody remind us who the hell Sai is. Uh, he had a YouTube channel by the name Psy. He made videos like top 10 things you didn't know about Undertale. Top 10 things you didn't know about Portal. And these videos got like 3, 4 million views each. Like Psy seemed like a big deal. And I, th I think we wanted to have him in our circle because he's a big name. And we thought he'd be a big pull. But it turns out nobody actually cared about Psy. He was just making like videos that were clickbait, not in the sense of f false content, but just like shit that will get a lot of clicks, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, so it might have been, <laughs> it might have been a tactical error to have that as a personality on the show. But as far as I know, we made some decent content together. I don't remember though. Did anyone save Munchie's videos, by the way? I have no clue. Top 10 things you didn't know about Cunny. The real issue with Psy, and I, I've been over this, is that he idolized Digibro and he wanted to be exactly like Digibro. And Digibro had a cult of personality around him at the time and people would hang on his every word and thought he was some sort of like genius and Psy was part of the cult. And uh, I think Sai, as much as we were using Sai, I think he was also using me because I was in the PCP podcast and he desperately wanted to be on it. So, you know, it, I think it was mutually beneficial. Uh, Dankin Doggy says, Mookie, where music? I don't usually play music on a live stream. I named my cat Nami in your honor. How's that in my honor? I don't even have Nami in my top five. Isn't Digibro that beautiful woman? There's at least one erroneous word in your sentence. At least one. Not going to say if there's two. Only Redditors liked him. <laughs> He got five thumbs up on Mookie Wear Music. Does he still want to be Digibro? I I hope not. 
should we keep listening to this or should I should I pull up something else to listen to? You guys want to hear more from Psy? I guess I'll do a poll. Should we keep listening to Psy, the Psy podcast? Because I am curious to see if he can convince me. A apparently, this podcast was originally up to uploaded April 28th, 2017. God fucking damn. Seven years ago. Damn. I, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I've been Simeon Jimmy longer than I was ever Monkey Jones, so it's, I guess sometimes I forget that. Uh, it's about half and half, so half of you are going to be pissed either way. I love it when that happens. Call Patchy? Okay. I'll call Patchy. Should I call him on the phone or on Discord? Okay. I'm calling Patchy. Hello? What's up, Patch? Uh, watching a live stream right now. What do you want? I don't know. They told me to call you. What's up, Patch? Watching a live stream right now. What do you want? Uh, they told me to call you. It's getting more faint as it goes on. <laughs> it's on a delay for me, so I'm still waiting to hear it. <laughs> what? <laughs> How am I hearing it th through the phone if you haven't heard it? What do you mean? <laughs> that can't be true. Shut up. I'm hanging up. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm just kidding. My brother's not an idiot. He is probably smarter than me. Uh, well, 55% say yes. <laughs> uh, Evan says, I'm glad this the video still exists. Monkey plus Psy was always hilarious. Also, greetings. Okay, I gotta keep listening. Enough, and everyone else was lazy as shit, which I think is the far more likely option. I so mean, I think fair. we need it, to it, shoot it. even fucking higher this time. Okay. I think 1,000 fucking dislikes. Fuck. You heard the man, folks. Give me 1,000 dislikes on this live stream. See if I give a fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't think this will get 1,000 views. Lil Tater says, how much donate for a Pokemon 2000 is a Kino? How about I'll put that on a PCP poll and then it's up to you guys to vote for it. Roblox Miner, when will you release the Wheel of Torture? We have not filmed it yet. We were prepared to film it. And then some of the things we wanted to have on the wheel had not arrived in the mail yet. So we had to postpone and Eggie has just not been back yet. Sai's voice is more annoying than Florian's. And the thing about that is, I don't know, the reputation at the time was that Sai had like a great radio voice and he was very proud of it. But now that I'm, you know, <laughs> in retrospect, I guess it wasn't that good, was it? Maybe he just had like a good microphone. I don't know. Uh. On this video. What do you 1, think? 000. Can we do it? I mean, I think if, if there, this video has 1,000 views, there's no excuse. I was no about excuse. to say, I'm pretty sure that's more views than this video is going to get, but I think we could do it somehow. I think... Oh, wow. See, I, I, I genuinely cannot remember, like, the average view count I would get on, like, an Is It Kino in 2017. So to hear Sai right there say... Like, legitimately, we'll be lucky to get a thousand views on this. If he's being serious, then maybe I'm not doing as bad as I thought. Like, if Is It Kino is on average getting like 2,500, 3,000 views, hey, that might be better than I was doing seven years ago. You know, slight improvement. You gotta, you gotta find your victories somewhere, people. You know, we just have to make our fans hate us that much more. Um, we have to by accomplish our fans. This. By our fans, do you mean my fans who are, like, being forced into this 30-minute side podcast and they don't well, want to be here? Well, you know. Okay, Dankin Doggy gave me 20 bucks to call Patchy again. <laughs> okay.
Was the treehouse at 3k subs two months ago? No. We've been at 20k for like over a year, I think. Hello? Somebody donated for me to call you. Yeah, Dink and Doggy, I agree. Where is the music? Where's the music? I mean, isn't the size voice music to your ears? Uh, only when he's singing by my shirt. <laughs> Links down below. Ba -ba 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 buy my shirt. Now, how do you think Psy would react if he just logs into the internet, clicks on a random live stream, and like some guy he hasn't talked to in six years is just like spending his Friday night talking about him in front of a hundred people? What is he up to nowadays? I don't know. Actually, he. A, he does occasionally stream on his channel Psy Live. I think as of like even two months ago, he might have done that because he well, he likes to read out his boob manga, and unlike Best Guy Ever, he knows how to avoid getting deleted for it. Uh, uh, do you have anything you want to say to the man who made this happen? Uh, thanks for the twenty dollars. I can buy some popcorn. Well, I do owe you for the movie ticket anyway, so that is actually probably just going straight to you. What is the what's going on with this theater tomorrow? Is it like 4D? What is it? It's 4D. Yeah, it's gonna. I mean, 4D con. Are the seats gonna move? They move. Yeah, they what? move. They spray you. Yeah, we get like D box. You. No, it's way worse than D box. Worse. <laughs> the last the last movie I saw was the first Godzilla vs Kong, and like I had to physically fight. And stay in the seat. Like, it pushes you so far forward, it's like a big brother wall competition. <laughs> People are, like, falling into the aisle out of their seat? <laughs> Why did you want to see it at this theater? Because I saw the original Godzilla uh, Kong movie, so I have to see this one. I, I, I guess I follow your autistic logic. How much are these tickets for the 4D experience so that somebody can donate that much? But yeah, like 20 bucks. So 20 bucks?! Yeah. Jesus. I had a coupon that was uh, buy three tickets for the price of two. So So what do I owe you, 12? Something like 15. <laughs> no, but I don't like that math, but I guess you're right. <laughs> okay. Can I hang up now, doggy I man? I don't know. It's up to thank you, donkey man. <laughs> I want to hear more sigh. Oh, God damn it. He, he literally just donated 50 bucks and said, call Patchy, make this Apache cast, screw sigh, <laughs> rip bozo sigh. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to argue with the guy who's giving me a hundred bucks, but he hasn't given you a hundred. It's seventy-five or something. I, I, the last three donations are from him. They add up to eighty at least. He asked for music, and you didn't give him that. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have set a precedent of ignoring his requests. <laughs> so, so logically, he can't be angry <laughs> if we don't make an Apache cast. Well, should I call you on Discord and we can listen to Psy together? On Discord? I'd have to go turn the computer on. Yeah, that's kid. true. I mean, this I'm certainly not doing speakerphone the whole time. Well, hang up whenever you need to. <laughs> I guess I'll just have it all going at the same time. Oh, there are like one or two guys okay, who I'm come listening from my to Psy. Twitter. So, our fans, <laughs> really. It's, it's a shared, a joint up. effort there when go, you think about go. it. Okay. I think this is going to be a good Twitter audio experience enough. Most for people everybody. don't know this, but you have a Twitter, but it has like what? Uh, a I couple mean, it's hundred like Gran followers, followers, right? Like, you know, yeah, not nearly really enough like is the point. No. Mm. So, the point is, I think everybody Speaking on Twitter, of which, don't... Uh, there is an upcoming episode of Is It Kino with you, me, uh, your wife, and Aggie reviewing the Velma and Daphne movie that I got in Monkey's Mailbag. Upcoming? Um, that's been available for members of the channel for like so three true. weeks now. So true. All 53 members of the Measly Few have already had access to it, but everybody else will get it in about two weeks. Uh, Kiko the Fool says 40 is wild because if there's a sex scene, the seats follow the motion and they spray the sex <laughs> spunk on you. I, I don't think that's true. It's true. What? What do you mean? They spray you with sex spunk. Like, how many movies have a facial on screen that you would see in a cinema? It doesn't have to be a facial. What are they shooting on you? What would they be shooting on you? What? Uh, I'm a movie 
Twenty-six. Danky Doggy for twenty said you accepted the second other request by law two v one. So Patchy stays. <laughs> this would make it three v one. <laughs> Lil Tater, thank you for becoming a member of the Measly Few. Dank and Doggy, you've given over a hundred bucks today. I'm I'm gonna have to beg you to stop. I'm gonna have I'll, I'll keep Patchy for a little bit, but please be responsible. You'd be better off putting that money <laughs> into a casino. So please stop. Uh, let's see. So I'm sure everybody likes hearing me echo through your screen. <laughs> Should we hear more Sai? I was making fun of him for having low Twitter followers. Follow Sai, but harass him. Okay. Send him a bunch of like mean photos. Like e even though he just lost like 80 pounds, call him fat. And just like all this really mean shit. Just harass Sai on Twitter. This is my, my public outcry right now. Oh, okay. I told people you know. to harass Sai. I, I just I weighed would... myself. And you, you probably weigh less than me Pretty since common. you've been on a diet and I've just been bulking up Ooh, how on How much Cheetos am I going to weigh? I got to hear this. Mm, the best way to bulk Hopefully up. Hopefully I say. Yep. <laughs> the healthiest way. Yes, of course. It's, it's recommended I've never in all the diet books. My God. <laughs> What's the thing that Max says on its own? Hey, Dank and Donkey joined the Measly Field. That's a better that's use so of your money. Season seven. I don't know. I've never seen yeah. it. It's all I saw. At least, at, yeah, at least if you become a member, you get something for your money. Sai was on a diet. Yeah, his diet, if I recall, was like eating pizza and chocolate for breakfast because it was keto. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he bought a treadmill and wrote it off on his taxes because he was going to use it to look better on camera but I think <laughs> I don't know if that ever worked out <laughs> Dankin has tons of welfare checks yeah that used to be toot I get, you know all the welfare queens if they want to <laughs> forward their money through this fucking YouTube chat go for it Pizza isn't even keto? <laughs> Don't ask me! <laughs> that picture might still be up on his Twitter. If you scroll back eight years, you might find it. Wasn't that because Ben Saint went keto, so I was just following? Yeah, I, I could imagine him copying anything that anybody in the PCP was doing at the time. But they were all, like, all the PCP themselves were constantly copying Digibro anyway, so. Uh, Mumkey obesity is a serious disability. You can't make fun of that. That's fair. I'm, I'm getting obese soon myself, so I'll have to, you know, get a little more self-aware about it. Uh, Patchy, any, any other thoughts? No, I'm just waiting for the chat to say anything interesting. Nah, good luck with that. <laughs> These people are here on a Friday night. You think they have charisma? There we go, Randy. Randy's the first interesting guy in a while. <laughs> he said, I'm obese. <laughs> I don't know, Randy, I, do I doubt you're obese. You might be overweight because, I mean, the, the standards are so retarded that most people are probably overweight. But obese, that's like Biggs level, Randy. I don't, I don't think you're that big. Uh, Lil Tater says, Psy was pretty bad on Is It Keto? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Biggs used to suffer obesity and he's better now. He doesn't suffer from obesity. He enjoys it. He gets to gorge. Patchy, tell your brother you love him. That wasn't a donation. <laughs> I don't think we've ever said that. <laughs> In my entire life, I don't think I ever said I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Not once. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Fuck, who who needs to say that gay shit? Uh, Dank and Doggy Man. says, go buy yourself a Big Mac combo you looked in. I did hit the treadmill twice today because I was depressed and bored. Because I, I uploaded my Medea video and then it got blocked worldwide. I said, Fuck this. I'm going on the treadmill. I'm having a, a, an over stimulation. The audio made me break my monitor. I, does it sound that bad? It probably does. Hit the gym. Uh, if you look, uh, I got some dumbbells I was doing this morning. And hopefully if you uh, look back at all my other footage, it's not in the exact same position and it looks like I have not touched or moved them, but 
I did use those this morning. Fasting is cool. Patchy, should we do a 48-hour fast? I mean, that's nothing. Let's do it a week. Uh, 48's not nothing. But yeah, we could do a week. 168 hours. Exactly. There you go. Yep. I wasn't even thinking it. Uh, are we able to come the Medea video on any other platform? Right now, I'm, it says within one week. If they do not respond, then the video is safe. And I was going to release it on like the 5th of April anyway, so it all worked out. Uh, if they reject it, then I might have to upload this version of it to a different platform and then re-edit it for YouTube. But I'll make sure it's available in some capacity soon. Uh, name tab... Kirk says, go buy yourself some sugar-free energy drinks and meth instead of eating food. Yeah, the meth diet might be good for the fast. Mako Wacko says, have you heard of the book series called Wings of Fire? I'm excited for an animated show. I've not heard of that. Have you heard of that, Patchy? No, I have not. You're not a big fan of Wings of Fire? Never heard of it. Me neither. Monkey, you're in a lock room. To your right, you see Biggs. To your left is Patchy. Now, who do you kiss? I mean, almost certainly Biggs. I think I've kissed Biggs before, so it'd be nothing new. Tyler Perry is coming for you. He doesn't like being made fun of. He gets it pretty fucking bad in this new video. I'm not going to lie. So I'm not hopeful that they will accept my appeal based on the shit talking that I do. Uh, but hopefully, you know, hopefully it'll work out. Uh, okay, bye, Patchy. I wanted to get back to watching Psy. Are you gonna go racist? My Medea videos, the intention is to accurately depict what is happening in the movie. If that comes across as racist... You have to blame it on Tyler Perry, who wrote and directed the film. I'm not the one being racist. Okay, maybe a little bit. Ever watch Devil Man Cry Baby? I've not watched that one. Back to Sai. I want to see if he can get me into gender bending. All right, Sai. It's always sunny show... for fags. No, Whoa! That's, that's Whoa! For... This show is... My God, Sai. Watch your mouth. Discuss. I can't believe 2017 he was still using the F slur. I'm offended and disgusted. And if any YouTube bots are watching this stream and they want to take it down, I stand against that hate speech. And I don't use that in my everyday speech all the time. Is Sai tries to get Mumty, Monkey into X, and you know, it's, it's been a pretty wholesome show. He tries to get me into stuff like Undertale, Portal, okay. all these family friendly games that, you know, have huge fan bases and everybody can adore and love. So, Sai, what wholesome, you know, family oriented thing are you trying to get me into today? Well, today we're going to dive into the dark, depressing, uh, Cthulian realms oh, of no. my fetishes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yes. Oh God, no. Oh God, You've gone yes. Too far. It's not too late, everybody. <laughs> Unplug the podcast. Take your computer and throw it in the Atlantic Ocean. It's not too late. You don't have to hear this shit. Uh, unplug the podcast. Oh, like it's coming in over the fucking. My mother has told me that her black coworkers hated Medea. Uh y yeah. The impression I've gotten is that maybe like forty percent of black people liked it, and then the other sixty percent like. They hate it so much because of how bad it makes the community look. <laughs> like Morse code wire or some shit. <laughs> like, no, so, I, so if you're trying to get me into one of your fetishes, does that mean you like want to fuck me in the asshole or what? Uh, it could mean that. It could also mean that you came up with the idea. You know, I don't know. I don't one know of what the you're two, about. probably. I don't know what you're talking about. That All said, right, so I, as, as the gayest man on the planet, it's probably more <laughs> likely that I'm trying to get you into it so that we can, like, do butt <laughs> stuff together. Yeah, sure. So I, what fetish are you trying to convince me to, I guess, fetishize today? Uh, gender bending, which is one of what the most fun fetishes out there. Is that like air bending, like Avatar, where, like, you can make a gender appear with magic <laughs> and shoot somebody with it? 
sort of. I used to be kind of funny. See, gender bending is the art of like levitating people, like specific genders, like women, for example, and then like force pushing them against. Uh, the Dank said uh, the Medea movies are enjoyed by old white women. Now, I'm not going to accuse you of not watching my series, but I do the research and it turns out approximately 90% of the theater going audience for Medea movies was black. So it, the movies had a target audience and that audience showed up and gave Tyler Perry a billion dollars. So as much as old white women might like them, they certainly were not there in person to see them. Uh, Biggs and I did see some Medea movies in the movie theater together back in the day. And we were the only non-black people there. I'm dead serious. Dankin Doggy for 20. I hope that's your mom's credit card. He says, now call Aggie, LOL, LMAO, even my bank. Ask if my card was stolen. <laughs> Sai, who's that lame bozo? That's who? Okay, I'll call Aggie then. <laughs> if Aggie's, I don't know what Aggie's up to, but. He might be out with his family, and my phone is uh, freaking out. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully, Aggie's voicemail does not dox him, like when he called Rusty on stream and then dox him. I saved him in my phone as Eggman Tobyson. Okay. Ooh, would it be bad if I called Rusty to see if anybody answered? That's going to be a, require a lot more than $20. I can't do that. I got to be ready to hang up in case you don't answer. Okay, he did not answer. If he calls back, I'll get him in there. Uh, did you guys just hear a discord sound? <laughs> Cause it likes to unmute itself and purple kernel just said something to me. Ah, uh, it should be okay. Uh, but purple, if you're still watching, uh, I'm down for you to join us on the Godzilla Kong review. Sounds good to me. It's the wall. So oh, it's sort of only, like air bending, but you have to, it's specifically Roger women. Yeah. If Elliot Power, uh, Roger had the power to like force choke all women, I don't think he, he would have failed in his day of retribution. Indeed. Although, thank Christ, he didn't have like fucking blood bending or some shit. Guys, like, God. Uh, I'm going to say it right now, real quick. If you donate for me to call Rusty Cage, you might as well be throwing your money into an incinerator. I, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. You don't understand. I cannot. And I will not. You know, the time people he could have killed slash raped that way. Jesus. That would have been my ideal world. The world would have been untwisted for one one short day. Holy shit. I'm thinking about that now. I really want the fucking Avatar Elliot Roger crossover where he's a bloodbender. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Holy and shit. And he calls he calls Aang a fucking normie. Yes, exactly. Because he Ex talks to a girl. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Christ, I want to see this now. This sounds... Okay, a fucking monkey's audience. You all fucking love Elliot Roger. Presumably, sure. you're all not retarded enough to like Avatar um, The Last Airbender 2. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. They're probably all retarded. Wait, wait, wait. Is Sai saying that fans of The Last Airbender are retarded? I wonder if he's joking. That's a weird take. $1,000 to call Rusty? You gotta, you know, sometimes you have to, like, weigh out in your mind how much a relationship is actually worth to you. And a thousand dollars is pretty tempting. <laughs> uh, I don't think you guys have a thousand dollars combined. They're mm. listening to this. That's true. Okay. Uh, well, I promise you'll like Avatar The Last Airbender. Go watch it. You know, turn off fucking boost. <laughs> don't call Rusty Cage at 3 a.m. challenge. <laughs> yeah, I could come back here and what? nine hours or so we can call him at 3 a.m that's probably when he's actually awake clues go watch avatar the last airbender <laughs> and that famous uh, then anime right... blues clues it's on yeah. every screen <laughs> yes well i mean they're retarded right so that, that's, that's probably <laughs> what they're watching so... if, i mean if you're retarded you're probably not watching blues clues because that's an educational program you're probably watching <laughs> like but i don't fucking know like family guy or something whoa oh, yeah okay good whoa point. Okay, blasphemy. 
Blasphemy from me. Disgusting. Family Guy, you know that the bell curve meme where the retards and the smart people agree and the normies in the middle just don't get it? That's Family Guy. That's a show for the, the smartest of the smart and the dumbest of the dumb. So I guess I was halfway accurate. It is for retards, but it's also for the intellectually superior. And as a Family Guy fan, I, I can assert that I'm in the retarded category there. Okay, so turn off Family Guy, go watch Avatar The Last Airbender. Then, when that's all done, write the most epic crossover slash fic ever. And I will... Yeah, that, this is a... It's an interesting idea. If I listen to my podcast from like seven or eight years ago and, and see if I agree or disagree with the takes I had when I was 21. Hmm. 21-year-old me thought it would be cool to say Family Guy is for retarded people. Well, you know... Do I like hard liquor? I mean, I don't love taking shots of it, you know, mix it up with some Coke or something. Promote it on Twitter or something. I don't fucking know. I think we need somebody in the comments to keep track of how many times Psy unironically says the word epic. Uh, quite a few. <laughs> it's like quite this whole life. a fucking few. If Psy's opening his mouth, it's either the word epic or the word fuck. That or the word greetings. Our lowly. That's very fucking epic. Greetings. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting off track. What is gender bending and why should I jerk my dick to it? Uh, okay, so gender bending is the process of a guy turning into a girl or a girl turning into a guy. Okay, so. Mmm, interesting. The man who idolizes Digibro has a fetish for a man becoming a woman. No further commentary. So like, uh, did you get this fetish watching that episode of Fairly Odd Parents when Timmy turns into <laughs> a girl? Uh, no. Good episode. The earliest I can remember, like, if we're talking about, like, gender bending and kid shows and shit, I remember really liking the, the fucking episode in Ben 10 where Ben and Gwen swap bodies. Never watched that Although show. Oh, God. With his bending? own sister? Yes. Although it's not oh, gender that's bending like so much as body swap, which is a closely related but not quite the same thing fetish. Uh, George Licker... Sai did not get in trouble for Lowly, but he was a very proud proponent of it. And that is also inspired by Digibro. Like, Digibro was, like, saying stuff like, Oh, I have to be on the front lines fighting the Lowly Wars, because if I don't do it, who will? Uh, I need to actively let everybody know that I enjoy this. <laughs> and, uh, and I want to make it normalized for everybody. And Sai, you know, he's part of that cult. So it's more we're making fun of him for it than like he actually got in trouble. So it's like a Freaky Friday, only you become a chick. Yes, exactly. So like that uh, the new movie Your Name, I bet you were all over that shit. Yes, I was. I do believe, in fact, in the very first episode of this podcast, my ex Did Digibro admit that he likes real life children? Uh, I think he's very much against that. He, he only likes the cartoon version. Extremely hilarious joke at the intro um, was that hmm. I had just got finished jacking off to your name for the 47th time that day. <laughs> I'm okay. going for 50 today, baby. Hmm. Okay. I'm on That's a hot fair. streak. About time we break a record on this show. Indeed. I'm doing it right fucking now. So what's the appeal? Why do you want to wake up as a girl? Well, <laughs> I mean, for the obvious... You already got tits, so I mean... <laughs> Well, yes, but the tits are rapidly <laughs> fading, you see, as a result yeah. of this whole diet thing. Right? Yeah, see, fucking get, right. Why on a diet if you're going to lose your tits? It seems uh, contrary to your fetish. It does, but when you consider that I also like lolis, and that when I'm thin, <laughs> I can cosplay. What is my record for jerking off in one day? <laughs> it it cannot be higher than, like, two. Uh, I don't. After that, wouldn't it just fucking hurt? Surely it would hurt after two times, but I, I'm not a real coomer connoisseur. Play as a lowly, then it all makes sense, right? Yeah, that does make sense. You're right. Yeah, exactly. So the thinner I get, the more the more lowly-ish I could potentially look. <laughs> oh right? God! And then okay. I could fucking God. cosplay like nymph and Megumin and shit, and it'll be it'll be fantastic. Did you say Mega Man? Uh, Megumin. What the fuck is that? It's the character from Konosuba, the one in the cute red hat. Also, my mother is calling me right K now on Skype, and I'm very curious if we should let her in on this conversation or not. Your I wonder mother? what she would think of it. I yeah. hope he does. She's I don't calling think she me right now me. on Skype. She, I mean, she can't. Uh, have, have you guys ever been in the situation I'm in right now where you're listening, 
literally to yourself and you have no clue what's going to happen. Like, I I don't know where this conversation goes or what anybody's about to say. And it's very interesting to be in that position while listening to yourself. So will Sai's mom join the show? I'm dying to find out. I've, I've not, I hung up on the call, but I'm very curious <laughs> no, what she would up. think of this conversation had I answered and then like muted her. So we just <laughs> continued talking. <laughs> like you, you accidentally butt answered instead of butt dialed and now she hears you talking about your weird fetish. Exactly. Exactly. Let's not right. do that. It sounds like an awful S idea. Sai, <laughs> just l let's play through your fantasy. You wake up tomorrow morning and you're in the body of, I guess. Uh, shout out to Dankin Doggies. A uh, dog, Luca, who passed away this month, and he wants everybody to pet their or hug their pets tonight. Uh, yeah, that you know. Shout out to Luca, and I will give my cats an extra hug tonight for that. Your ideal girl is that a six-year-old lowly with no tits, or what's your <laughs> ideal girl? Um, ideal girl, probably yeah. something like Tomoko from Sword Note Tashimono. Oh, oh which, okay, that's fair. Funnily that's enough, is the choice. gender bent version of the main character Tomoki. So that ties in really nicely to the current topic, actually. Wait, who's Tomoki? Tomoki is the main character of SNO. And in episode 11, he uses the quantum change device to transform himself into a girl, to gender bend himself. Wait, and when you say Tomoko, are you talking about... Um, Tomoki gender bend. Oh, you're not talking about Tomoko from uh, it's it's your guys' fault. I'm not popular. No, 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 no. Different character. Oh, Watamote. Okay, I was thinking of Watamote. No, 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 no. When, no, no. when you said character. that was the perfect girl, I was in agreement with you. But now I'm no, not so no, sure. No, no, that that Tomoko is trash. She's awful. Oh, I... fuck you. <laughs> ne next <laughs> episode is Monkey tries to get Sai into Tomoko. Uh, fucking Watamote is the cringiest shit I've ever seen in my entire goddamn. Wow, that's coming from Sai. That's rich. There's a main character on Saturday Night Live. What are you even talking about, Patchy's wife? Who are you responding to? Is Hamburger... No, he's not. Are you kidding? No. Life. Yeah, it's called being relatable. Uh, no, it's not. It's called, like, <laughs> awful. It, it's like watching a slow-motion train wreck. Is the Not SNL. I think he was saying, like, SNO. Feel of that show, and I just can't. Yeah. It's, I and do you can't. like The Office with Steve Carell? I've never seen it. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Is that also a slow motion train wreck? Oh yeah, every episode it's just cringe humor with Michael Scott making an ass of himself, and it's it's the funniest. Uh, Lil Tater says I literally just got done watching Watamote with my GF. Also, I still pronounce it like a dunce because of you. If I recall, I, I made a video, a monkey's anime reviews, where I called it Watamote, and then when I actually reviewed it, I called it Watamote, and everybody said I had it correct the first time. So I just assumed it, you know, th that they were not lying to me and that it is pronounced Watamote, but I, what the fuck is it pronounced? <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Do I still love Tomoko? Uh, it's, it's probably a fine character. I haven't really looked at, you know, that anime since I reviewed it like eight, nine years ago. But I, I think it's nice to have a female incel represented in media. Don't call Florian, he will be pissed. Yeah, that's true. Iwatamote is correct. Thank you, Battle Lizard. American sitcom ever made, in my opinion. I see. Okay. She becomes a lesbian. Yeah, that's fine. Well... Tomoko from Sorno Tashimono, who is the female version of Tomoki, is probably my ideal woman. Unfortunately, it's a guy, which kind of sucks. <laughs> it kind of sucks when I'm like, yeah, this is like the perfect example of what I would love in a girlfriend, except, you know, uh, she secretly has a dick like 99% of the time. So does that make you gay if you want to fuck somebody who has gender bent yes. into a woman? Or is it straight because they're a woman? That's interesting, and I've thought about this a lot, because I think I'm probably the... <laughs> I'm sure you have. Yeah, no, I think that I'm, quite honestly, probably the Gay. gayest straight guy in existence. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that called Metro, or is that something I was else? literally about to say that! <laughs> wow, I guess it's almost like I have the same brain as this guy. I don't know. Okay. Well, you know, I view sexuality like a spectrum, right? Much oh, like the autism okay. spectrum that you yeah. and I are on. Or the gender uh, spectrum. All those yeah. things that exist. Yeah, <laughs> the, gen the gender spectrum, the sexuality spectrum. <laughs> isn't just, you know, straight or gay or lesbian or whatever the hell. It's a, it's a, 
it's a colorful rainbow of different sexuality. Uh, we're not halfway through this, by the way. There's 18 more minutes left, but hey, if 140 people are listening to this, I might as well just keep it going. Fuck it. Based, right? Yeah, you're full on rainbow right now. Indeed. Very, very true. Okay. Very true. Sai, you wake up in the body of this Tomiko bitch. What's the first thing you do? And, and give me a play by th play of what your day is like in the uh... body of this woman. Well, I wake up and I probably do the your name thing, which is like the holy shit. I'm just grab your tits. Yes, exactly. Exactly that. Uh, then I then I jerk off or I guess Jill off in that case. So <laughs> okay. and then I continue doing that. Uh, presumably this is like a 24 hour thing. Right. So sure. I do that until my 24 hours. How old was I when I recorded this? This was April of 2017. So like 21 ish i don't know the math on that <laughs> make 20 yeah 21 three months away from 22 we're up and that's my day i never i never leave the room you just masturbate all day pretty much yeah i i do see the appeal of that because i mean i, I think everybody is curious to see what you know it's sexual like from pleasure the other feels side. like from the other side yeah because so there's true. no way of knowing it's exactly. like um like, a woman can never know what it's like to get hit in the balls. A man can never know what it's like to give birth. And we, we also can't know what the pleasure's like. So it, it just as a human being with with curiosity and interest, this is inherently interesting to me to know what it would feel like. But I don't really see it as a fetish rather than like a scientific discovery to do some, you know, field lab research to find <laughs> out what it feels like to flick this fucking bean, baby. This is worse than the water park video. How dare you, Patchy? I'm... I'm or Patchy's wife. I'm throwing out fucking zingers and fat jokes left and right. This is pure Kino. You know, wonder why this used to get an upwards of 800 views per episode. <laughs> I just imagine you waking up with the fucking like body of a girl and you're like, okay, time to do some lab research. Yeah, I'll put on and... my lab coat. I'll get out my test tubes. You know, I'll make a chart <laughs> like, like, you know, uh, I'll make a bar graph of the pleasure at, e at each <laughs> interval and... <laughs> Indeed, the, yes, Ex the best exactly that is what I had had in mind, and it's an yeah. amazing image. Just yep. you and the body of a girl jerking off with a lab coat on. That's I'm gonna wear goggles for safety picture. in case I actually <laughs> squirt juice into my fucking eyes. Oh god, that's, that's oh, god. Amazing, please, for the love of Christ, someone draw fan art of that. For the love of Christ, please, <laughs> someone, someone out there. Hold on, Roblox Miner says I've never wondered what it would be like to be a man. Uh, do not be. Pretending to be a woman in my chat, Roblox Miner. We know what the fuck you are. Please. Scientist gender bent monkey, like doing a test to see if masturbating feels good. No, yeah, okay. Sci a scientist gender bent monkey jerking off with like an Erlemeyer flask. <laughs> that, that image is what's in my head right now, and it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I need this to exist. All right, so we get it. You want to jerk off, or you want to jill off. Yes. Is that the extent of the fetish? Like, you don't want to go out and, like, be a whore and, like, realize, oh, yeah, when you're a girl, relationships are easy. All guys <laughs> just want to fuck you immediately. So true. Do you want to know what it feels like to get, like, a six-inch hard cock going inside you as a girl? Because it's not gay if you're a female, right? True. Very true. It's what, what you're saying is very true. Um, and this goes back to me being the, the gayest straight guy that I know. <laughs> <clears throat> Just decide because... to say it with me. I want a hard cock inside me. Go ahead, say it. <laughs> All passed, but thanks, Oh, oh okay. so there's only audio of me saying it. Thanks, Sai. I. I want a hard cock in me. Yeah, we did a gender-bent monkey art contest. Yeah, I have uh, fond memories of that. There's some good art out of that. Um, Nobody isolate that audio. Yes. Um, so Clipped. That does sound appealing. It <laughs> Wait, this chat isn't full of hot women. Even if Roblox Miner's a woman, the chances of hot are non-existent. This is like subterranean Antarctic temperatures of women in the chat. If the gender bend thing was actually the case, like I definitely would, if given the opportunity, try that out. Just you know. <laughs> Fond memories cooming. Okay, so the idea that I, I had people <laughs> make art of myself as a woman so I could masturbate to myself. I guess it's it's all just masturbation anyway, you know? Even as a guy jerking off, you're still just stroking a dick. So I guess that, if anything, it would be slightly less gay to jerk off to girl me. Fuck if the circumstance was aligned. Although that like said... A, you wouldn't get a dildo first? You'd just go fuck a dude? 
Uh, ooh, Patchy's using the Columbo emoji, and it's so small you can't really see what's going on. So I think I might have to replace that one. If anybody has any emoji ideas for my measly few in the chat, let me know. Uh, well, you, you got to work up to it, right? So, I mean, I you start know. off just jerking off, and then, you know, you involve the sex toys, and then finally, you know, you sort of branch out into doing the actual sex, right? So would you would you kiss the boy, or would you just let him jam it inside you? Probably just jam it inside, because here's the now, thing. Now, what, what if he wanted a blowjob? Mm, I don't... I like okay. that you're thinking about it. Yeah, no. <laughs> you see, this crosses over with a different fetish of mine, which is mind control. So like uh, in that how does circumstance that cross over at all, well, what does that have to do okay. with sucking a dick? The reason I like mind control is because of like the loss of power, the loss of control of the situation. So if I was being forced so to like do it, then it somebody? would be sexy. Yeah, oh. that, that would be oh, you, probably you sexy. You want to get raped. You don't sort want to of, rape yeah. somebody. Yeah. What? I could imagine myself enjoying that in a perverse way. Hey, ladies, if you ever wanted to rape somebody, you know, size available, I guess. Indeed. I don't know. Is that what we're saying here? Is that what uh, we're no, saying? No, no, I don't think that's what we're saying. Because in that circumstance, I would, because, mm, okay. Here's the thing about like <laughs> gender bending porn and whatnot. Like when I'm thinking, okay. you know, the enjoyment that I derive from that, it's not like thinking about the. Uh, yeah, in some ways, Psy was kind of the original Florian, even though I, I think they were both part of my content at the same time. But just to have somebody who. It has interesting ideas and perspectives on the world who has no sense of shame and is willing to share any of them. I think it's a valuable contribution to any podcast. So maybe that's why I, I was so gung ho about doing stuff with Sai is that he has a lot of funny things to say very sincerely. But yeah, Florian's obviously better than Sai. Yeah, it's thinking about me as a girl experiencing that pleasure, right? So, uh -huh. like, when I'm jerking so off gay. to it, it's ne it's never about the guy doing it, it's about the experience that I'm having in that body, right? So, so you, you jerk off thinking about getting fucked by a guy, but you're not thinking about the guy. Exactly, exactly that. I was saying that facetiously, and you agreed. So <laughs> no, no, that, that is exactly what I was saying. You summed it up perfectly, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, that sounded like a fake laugh for me. I don't know. Okay, mm -hmm. keep going. I want to hear more. My dick's mm -hmm. hard. I'm, I'm <laughs> half masked over here. Uh oh. Seriously, you're only half masked. I'm I'm already gone. I've blown my load twice so far. <laughs> oh, that is uh, slow. Forty nine, dude. You disguise your voice so well through your orgasm. <laughs> Indeed. Well, I, I I do it so much that I don't really get you know my voice doesn't quaver anymore. I, I you know <laughs> when you get to like your fiftieth time that day, suddenly it stops being special. Yeah, then it starts just like spitting out blood. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Except not. Except that sounds awful. <sighs> okay, so here's the moral. Did Florian actually make big bank from that game? Florian is a legitimate millionaire. That's like I wish that was a joke. It causes me deep pain to know that he has millions of dollars. Like it, in some ways, it is disgusting, but it's just life. Con a quandary for you. Uh huh. So you wake up in the body of another girl, some 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 girl. Mm hmm. Would you consider it to be, you know, invading her privacy or to essentially be molesting or raping her by taking advantage of her body and having sex with random men and, and fondling her tits and, and massaging her, her little bean? Would, would, would that be mm. considered rape in your mind? Or are you okay with just, you know, uh, violating another person's personal space and sexual... Um... <laughs> Patchy's wife says, can we do 1.5 speed? That's not a bad idea. Uh, but, ooh, is this... Maybe this media player doesn't have that option. I should have... Oh, no, it does. Okay, good. Okay, let's see if this is better. I'm being with well, your disgusting kinky it, fetish. Okay, I think it depends on the circumstances. Like, am I possessing them, or have we done a traditional body swap? You probably traded. Okay, yeah, except if they traded, then I know for a fact you're in the same fucking thing in my body. So... Um, if a girl wakes up in your body, she's probably gonna be hanging from a noose in about five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be dead. No, hey, listen, I've, I've lost a lot of weight. I'm a fucking stud these days. So, <laughs> sure. No, he's, he's not. not. Fucking, he would like, be, be winning the fucking lottery to wake up in my yeah. body, okay? Yep. And think of all that white privilege you would have. White exactly. male privilege. Like exactly. You, now that you have a white male privilege, people are just going to like hand you jobs on a golden platter. You'll be handed, <laughs> you know, money and uh, opportunities. Your life will be perfect. Congratulations, exactly. girl. And, you did it. And you'll be making like a billion dollars off of YouTube, which is how much money I make, right? Yeah. Uh, I did get a request to play it at 0.25 speed. So... Uh, what more could you want? 
No longer will you have to deal with being a woman in American society. <laughs> Men offer you dick. Somebody said it's a King Cobra vid. Just a very slow, slurred speech about women's rights. <laughs> Eats and food for free in exchange just to spend time with them. Oh, what a terrible existence. Let's go to half. She must have lived. Now, finally, you have the opportunity to waste your money on a woman just to sit down and eat dinner with her. Congratulations, you won. Congratulations. And, and think about all the stuff. Uh -oh. He's doing the thing. Congratulations. 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 I've never actually seen Evangelion, but I know the scene you're talking about. Everybody knows the meme. Yes. So, so true. Uh, Sin Tola joins the measly few. We might be up to 55 members now. Thank you. Oh, I was going to say something. Let me slip my Oh, yeah. Uh, so while, you know, the girl's enjoying all the white privilege that comes from being in my body, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm going... Privilege, maybe she was already white. Yeah, well, mm, you see, I will have lost anime, my YouTube channel. This only happens to Japanese people, so maybe she's never been white before. True. Uh, that's a good point. So, I, I mean, I will have lost my YouTube channel then. Like, they'll be making all the money off, all the billions of dollars that I make per yeah. month off of it. Oh, man. So suddenly, you know, I'm going to have... Patreon. How are you going to live without it? Exactly. So, <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to fucking, like, prostitute myself in order just to, you know, pay rent and, you know, make do. I got a donation on Streamlabs. Uh, how much money do you need to make a Rusty Cage 3 a.m. challenge video on your main channel? The next Rusty Cage video I would make would be uh, reviewing his comic book because I, I haven't reviewed volumes two and three yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be making a 3 a.m. challenge parody video. Wait, wait, wait. You can make you, you can make money as a woman doing the most pleasurable thing on Earth? I know, wow. it's crazy what to an, think What about. an oppressed people, that, those poor, poor women. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like telling me I could like, uh, I could get paid to eat chicken wings. Oh man, I, I would feel so oppressed, I would probably cry. What a hard life. <laughs> okay, well the parallel I can think of is like, what if you, like, what if the chicken wings were like gross and nasty, they'd been like left out for like five days? <laughs> They're like I mean, incels who couldn't get laid otherwise. <laughs> exactly, because I mean, you know, the really fresh chicken wings, no one has to pay you to eat those, you just do. So if you're sure. getting paid, it's probably because you're eating the chicken wings that have been on the floor for five weeks and have flies and mold and shit, right? So same, you know, I would uh, imagine, you, with prostitution. <laughs> You convinced me, Sai. Maybe the life of a prostitute isn't as glamorous as I imagined. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a poll. Should we keep listening to this at 1.5 speed or 0.5 speed? <laughs> Let's see, uh, 0.5, 1.5. Let's see what the people want. Do you want drunk monkey or do we want to get the fuck out of here? Patchy's wife says no. <laughs> Tangy or spicy wings. I'll eat any kind of wing, but uh, I'm down for spicy. Uh, looks like 1.5 is winning with 58% right now. Damn, that's too bad. I was kind of hoping for 0.5, but you guys control my life. It's not too late. There's still 80 of you who have not voted. If you all vote for 0.5 right now, we can salvage this. 0.5 bros charge. Yeah, Asian Zing's the best chicken wing sauce by far. It's no question. Uh, 78 votes and we're still, we have a deficit of 16% points. I don't think we're making it. I don't think we're making it. Randy says, please vote. I agree. Okabe Johnson has a compromise of 1.25, still too fast. Okay, the people voted. I have to abide by it. I'm sorry to my 0.5 friends. And as we all know, I would never do anything to deceive my audience. <laughs> yes. Your chicken wing metaphor convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we need, we need to go dive deeper. So... What specifically about becoming a girl, like, is it just 
a new experience that you enjoy, or <laughs> is it like you get to suck dicks? What's <laughs> up? Um, well, all of those, obviously. <laughs> um, but also, I, I fucking... Goal said, okay, this is unbearable, dude. <laughs> I said at the beginning of the stream, I want people to feel bad watching this, and I think I'm legitimately succeeding. Digibro, I'm bringing him into the conversation, because oh, no. I think he would very much Not agree him. with this point. Yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> I know, I do too, but don't worry. Because, um, you know, he, he expressed this opinion perfectly in one of his Legend of Zelda Let's Plays, <laughs> and it's one of those things that I've never <laughs> felt like a human... I'm so dismissive of anything Digibro would have to say that I just scoff immediately when he brings it up. Being as understood me or where I'm coming from more in my entire life. <laughs> I don't like where life. this is going. Yeah, I feel like no. this is going to be like the biggest cringe of the episode, so please continue. Okay, so I've never felt like anyone has ever understood me as well as he did in that one moment where he's talking about, if you look it up on fucking YouTube, it's called like Digibro wants to be a lowly or some shit. And it's talking about how he would enjoy just having the aesthetic of like, you know, a little girl, right? Where like he thinks that's like the best aesthetic visually that a person could possibly now, have. Now, just just because I've been part of the procrastinators for a while, uh -huh. I've heard you, the word you've absorbed used. the autism. I've heard the word aesthetic used too many times. Can we get like a decent summary of what the word means? Because I, I've heard it used in a spectrum of ways that I'm pretty sure don't exist. Fair enough. Does aesthetic just mean like the, the visual? Yeah, like okay. the frilly dresses, the cute clothes, stuff like that, right? Okay, so it's not like the it's not like some internal aesthetic of being this thing. It's just like the way you can dress and look. Exactly. Like I, okay. they're like you know, it's been a long held belief of mine that I would. There are so many anime characters I would just love to cosplay, but I fucking can't because it seems like all the. Uh, Patchy's wife wants a time check. Seven more minutes of this podcast, and then we're going on to the next side podcast cool designs are in anime are the girls, right? So like fucking Nymph, Mega Man, I would love to cosplay those, but unfortunately in my, you know, fucking current body, I would look, you know, you, you see those people at conventions who sort of, you know, like cosplay ironically. So you get like the really fat, like fucking rems and shit. Uh, like, you know, like <laughs> beards running down their faces and like six chins and shit, but they're in a yeah. made outfit and carrying a mace and like, oh, it's, yeah. it's ironically cute. No, I want to be, you know, I want the actual aesthetic. I want to obtain that. I want to be able to have that, right? So why? that is also- Why do you want to be a cute six year old girl? Because right, right now I'm fucking gross, right? So, no, you said you're hot and skinny and any girl would be lucky to Compared to a lowly, keep up, monkey, keep up. For a guy, you know, I am like the pinnacle of masculinity. And, yeah. you know, fucking Michelangelo's David has nothing on me. <laughs> there's another one? I think there's like eight or nine episodes of Mumkey and Psy. I tried to find the most degenerate one for this stream, and I, I think we found it. So, True. Yeah, that's fair. Even, but even Michelangelo's David does not compare Psy. to like a lowly. Sai, what's the fucking specific appeal other than comparing it to yourself in your current state? Why, of all things, do you want to be a six-year-old girl? Why? Because they're cute. So, so I want to be cute. A puppy is cute. A kitten is cute. Why a girl who is six? <laughs> well, what do you want out of it? Do you want to go suck some dick? You want to play with your little six-year-old clit? That's fucking disgusting. Uh, I don't know. That sounds like a pretty good time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I think I just walked into an anime convention, and I don't know where the exit is. <laughs> pretty much. Mike, Four went out for happen? us. Like, you gotta go to kindergarten and, and play in a coloring book and learn shapes and shit. Oh man, I cannot tell you how many times I've wished six I could just have no back power. There. This Why is would true. You be, I wouldn't want to be a six year old of any gender. If I could choose any age, I'd probably just be like, you know what? Make make me twenty five. I'll just be twenty five. That's fine. I'm mm. in the peak athletic condition. You know, I, I'm probably as smart as I'm ever gonna be. <laughs> Jacob W says he cringed physically. <laughs> Now imagine if we listen to that that part of it at point five speed. <laughs> this is disgusting. Yeah, no shit. And it's only downhill from here, so just keep me 25 forever. Six-year-old, they have no power. They can't drive. They can't They can't go to Walmart and buy a uh, super soaker to shoot people with piss. They can't do shit. <laughs> yes, but here's the thing. You can get your parents to go there and buy the super soaker for you. Like, suddenly you don't have to work. You have no responsibilities anymore. You can just do whatever the fuck you want to all day. You don't have to fucking make videos. <laughs> Purple Colonel says, bro, I would not admit this shit if it was between that and the death of my family. <laughs> God is listening. <laughs> Goes in and out. Make shitty T1DK. I don't think Psy is going to get any babysitting jobs. And thankfully, I'm never going to have kids, so I don't need to trust him. Is just to make money, just to pay fucking rent. <laughs> you and me do YouTube as our careers. Pretty much 80% of our time is free time. And so true. Oh, so true.
This is miserable. You have to admit it. Half the time, you're just bored and you wish you had like meaning in your life, some semblance of meaning or belonging. But no, you just sit behind your fucking computer all day, miserable, nothing but free time. You play video games, it means nothing to you. You watch anime, it means nothing to you. You watch a movie, you can't even look at the movie for more than five minutes without scrolling through your phone, looking at Twitter, looking at your YouTube comments. So, did anybody try to contact me today? Oh, I have all this celebrity. I have all these thousands of subscribers. Maybe somebody wants to actually have a human interaction and communication with me today. Oh, nobody did. It's just another shit post. It's just another fucking mean comment. Okay, I guess I'll make another video to entertain these fucking mongrels. My whole life is just entertaining these idiots who do nothing for me, but give me one additional view count on my stupid fucking anime review video. That's life you want to live? Just carefully. Not I think I went on a similar rant about you guys in this stream. <laughs> No, no commitments, no nothing. That's what you want to do is be a six-year-old girl? Huh? You want no, you, you, you want to be unrestrained? Because the true freedom is to be forced into a job. Because then, when you have a job, you truly appreciate your free time. When you have nothing but free time, it's miserable because there's no restraints. You know, it, it's your own fault for being bored because you can't find something to do. But when you have a job, at least you can spend those eight hours a day thinking, oh, when I get home, I can do this, I can watch this, I can do that, and it'll be fun. But guess what? When you have nothing but free time, it's fucking hell on earth. <laughs> you know, Mumkey? You've completely convinced me. <laughs> I've forgotten all about whatever the fuck we were just talking about. All previous fetishes, you know, desires, wants of mine, completely erased. In the <laughs> Monkey versus his fan base is a common theme. So true. Yeah, as I, as I was, you know, I, I spent over a hundred fucking hours on this damn Medea video that I know is going to get, it's going to struggle to get 8,000 views. It's not going to make any money. And when I finally finish editing it, this horrible nightmare of a video, I can't even post it because it just gets blocked worldwide by YouTube. And you just think like, wait, what am I doing this for? Like, I've made more money on this live stream than all the Medea videos combined will ever make. Why do I keep making anything at all? I should just be live streaming 12 hours a night like Aggie. But I also really enjoy having videos exist that I made, so... You know, I, I guess I gotta keep the attitude that I'm doing it for future me to have something to watch, just like we're doing literally right now. It is what it is, YouTube. Give an iPad at one beautiful speech, and I agree. I think I'm going to go get a job at fucking, you know, uh, Walmart right now, just to hopefully find some fulfillment in my life, and you should join me. So, okay. ladies and gentlemen, this is our last day on the internet. <laughs> yeah, we did it, we're free. <laughs> we're we're free. I know, I can't, I'm so happy. I've never been this happy before. I cannot <laughs> wait to start working in the fucking checkout line, cleaning the bathrooms off, it's gonna be so great. <laughs> All right, so I, I think we're near the end. I need to, I guess, if you have any final arguments to convince me, you know, throw them out there and then I'll say whether or not I'm into this fetish. Uh, well, lolis are cute, so who wouldn't want to yeah, be a loli? No. That's, All right. that's, I think, the best argument anyone could. Uh, Major D, you know what? It's, it's for comments like that that I keep doing it, you know? Uh, compared to literally any other YouTuber, yeah, maybe I, my videos aren't doing too hot, but as long as the people who actually watch them like them, I, 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 that might sound like a real cope, and it probably is, but hey, if I can entertain anybody, that's better than nobody, you know? Uh, we have two more minutes for this. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to do a separate episode about lolis to convince me to get into that because I'm definitely not into that. But just purely for the scientific discovery of, of realizing what it feels like to, to stick my, my index and middle finger up inside my wet gooch mm -hmm. uh, and, and to feel what it feels like to flick that motherfucking bean. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think I would like to gender bend a little bit to see what it's like to, to feel mm -hmm. those, those pleasure spots on the female body. Indeed. But otherwise, I don't Best really see case the scenario is the Ronma one half scenario where you fall into the cursed spring of Jusenkyo and every time you get splashed with cold water, you turn into a girl. And every time you get splashed with hot water, you turn into a guy. So you can like choose what you want to be on a day to day basis. It's fucking great. That's we should all just fucking take a trip to China and just go jump in that fucking pool. Is that a real thing? Does that actually happen? Ooh, I got a Snapchat from Maggie. Might have to call him back. Oh, he just said true. OK, I'm calling him. We're doing it. Uh, speaker. He doesn't like me. This is brutal. Imagine, I, I opened a message you sent me literally within five seconds and oh, i guess he i guess his phone flew across the room when i called him now i know how rusty felt when he was desperately trying to get somebody to answer before he killed himself the suicide's on aggie's head did you seriously just ask me that <laughs> 
Uh, all right, Sai, what are you going to try to get me into next time? What's your next weird anime fetish? Uh, I don't know. We could go mind control. We could go possession. I mean, there are so many different, like, avenues. How's possession any different from what we just talked about? Well, <laughs> Are you aware of what's happening? Okay. Yes, that's the fun part. Oh, oh God. Go the fun part? Yeah. The you fun part is twisted. seeing, like, the power completely taken away from them, right? That's, that's oh. just rape. Yes. Oh. But it, like... It's rape they have no control over. It's great. Who wouldn't want to yeah, do that? No, that's that's normal rape, too. <laughs> well, okay, I mean, so yeah, next they episode... can, like, you know, punch you in the dead and run away or some shit then. <laughs> but with possession, you're inside their Yeah, body. if only. Okay, next episode is uh, Side tries to get Monkey into rape, I guess. Indeed, yep. That should be pretty good. Yeah, really I can't wait. One. Can't wait. All right, folks. Thanks for sticking around. Let's get those 1,000 dislikes. Don't be stingy. Mm -hmm. If you're listening to this, Don't hit, be stingy. Second, just hit that dislike button. <laughs> yes, hit the dislike button if you haven't already in, like, a fit of disgust by, like, the two-minute <laughs> mark of this fucking podcast. Yep. All righty, for Side tries to get Monkey into X. I've been Monkey. And I've been Monkey. No, see ya. Bye. What a great time we all just had. <laughs> Guaranteed dislikes. I, I actually cannot see. If anybody has that thing so you can still see the dislikes, let me know how many we have. Because I think we're trying to get 1,000. We have 79 normal likes. We need to switch it up. Uh, Eggy tried to call me and I don't know how to answer on Snapchat. Yo, Eggman! Is this Eggy Eggman What's Rodriguez? Yes, it is. Yeah, somebody paid me 20 bucks to call you on stream, so you're on stream. How is the stream going? Well, you sent me a Snapchat, and then I tried to call you, and you didn't answer, so I said I was going to kill myself. So I think <laughs> I think that's the direction we're going. I see. Well, yeah, I'm still going to go live again. Tonight to oh, cool. Donations. Oh, what time? I'll try not to overlap. Maybe I can send people your way right when I'm done. Uh, it'll be a little bit later. I said that I had stuff going on this evening, which I did or, uh, originally. Um, but then I was going to just plan on going live a little bit later in the night to, uh, at that time. Well, actually, I actually should say, I think I told them I was going to go live earlier, but then I had a hangover, so then I said I was going to go live later instead. Hangover, did the stream last night get a little crazy then? I think so. I think it <laughs> might have been the fact that um, I had, what was it, like five 24 round seltzers and some Elvis uh, in the stream oh, wow. didn't even last eight hours because I had a power outage and then I just passed out. Are you finding Elvis up where you live or is that like an old bottle we had? Yeah, actually, just for the first time, I have, and it was on the shelf by itself. There was no uh, nothing else, and it was also the Elvis Midnight Snack. It was just there by itself, and I was like, "Oh, somebody set this here." I asked the guy at the store. I was like, "Did somebody? Is somebody gonna buy this?" Like they just set it here, and he's like, "Oh, I don't know." So then I just bought it because there was no other Elvis around it. I should go get more Midnight Snack. That might be my favorite of the three. That's uh, right. If Chad can hear me right now, they can. Make sure to send super chat. Oh. Yeah, they can hear you. Well, tell uh, uh, chats you need to uh, crowdfund a bottle of that good midnight stack for Jimmy. <laughs> no, I, I've made Iggy's over two hundred bucks so far. This is a good stream, Eggy. Oh, okay. One guy's been go. losing his damn mind making me call people. He made me call my brother for like twenty minutes. <laughs> do you remember? Be of service. Do you remember in our the game of life let's play when we spent twenty minutes watching? size water park vlog i know that it happened i have a <laughs> recollection of it occurring well we just spent this uh, live stream listening to a podcast i did with Sai back in 2017 uh where okay. he's he's trying to convince me to get into his fetish of gender bending and he says that digibro inspired him that uh the ultimate aesthetic is to be a six-year-old lowly, and that's what he wants to be. Do you have any thoughts on that? Well, as I recall, I think when I saw him in that video, not really knowing much about him, I said he kind of seemed like a little bit of a sicko, <laughs> perchance. And uh, now that I'm hearing this, I feel like I had a proper, immediate assessment of his character. That <laughs> yes. was how it feels. Yeah, you. I mean, the, the chat is disgusted by some of the things that were said. I think I might have to take this stream down when it's over. <laughs> as long as it doesn't impact the donations. Uh, you know what? Members only. Yeah, I'll make it members only. I mean, I pretty much have more members than non-members at this point. Ain't that right, folks? I do have to go pee. Uh, should I leave the phone next to the microphone or should I give them something else to listen to as I go pee? 
Uh, well, you know what? That's at your discretion. Okay. I could try, and I mean, you've only been gone for a couple minutes. So I'll just ramble for two minutes if you want. Uh, no, I'm gonna play the Nostalgia Bigs theme song for them, but I might call you back in a little bit if you're not busy. All right, sounds good. Shout out to the chat. That's right. Yeah, I can't make poor Aggie entertain you folks. It's not fair. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Uh, Lil Tater says, Aggie freestyle side diss track. And Dink and Doggy, after donating hundreds of dollars, donates 99 cents. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm back in black, folks. Now, the real question is, should we listen to another Psy podcast because I see one called Asperger versus Psy as well as Asperger versus Psy 2 and I don't know what they're arguing about Bacon Crafted Curtain says Monkey Box or Medea Reviews whatever they're called now fund oh thank you hey you know what I'll consider that to be proof that uh, I did not waste a month of my life making this fucking video that I can't even release yet Dank and Doggy says, now call E. Rich. I don't have his phone number. I legit don't. I, I could try to call him on Discord. I'll try for, for you, my friend. Where was Asperger and Rusty's funeral? Uh, that, funerals are, are not an invitation kind of thing. You know, you, you can just show up. And he didn't. We put it out in the papers when it was going to be, and he, he didn't show up. Okay, I'm going to try to call E-Rich on Discord. I don't think he's going to answer. I tried my best. Rip Headless Bozo. Uh, I'll do a poll. Do you guys want to hear something called Asperger versus I? Okay. And as usual, I will abide by the results of the poll. Yeah, me taking a piss for three minutes only lost 10 viewers. That is how sad your Friday night is going, that you stayed through that. <laughs> you stayed, wow, 82% yes so far. That's pretty good. I can't imagine E-Rich is possibly doing anything that important. I don't know if E-Rich has Discord on his phone. He might be a desktop only kind of guy. So he probably doesn't even know that I called him. Uh, looks like, yeah, with over 50 votes, it's going to be a yes. So let's take a listen. 
I don't even remember if I'm in this, but this was from July 30th, 2017. So three months later from what we, we, we all just listened to. And I will now be 22 years of age. So if I'm in this, will I have an extra year of wisdom? Let's take a look. Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very special episode of whatever this show is. Today, we're switching it up. We have a guest star, Mr. Uh, I could get text-to-speech, but don't you guys donate because you want to hear me read the donation? You know, I read all of them. I don't miss anything, do I? Mr. Asp oh, this one's already up on the Monkey Mafioso channel. Well, they voted for it, so we can listen to it anyway. Text Patchy that tell him you love him and send screenshot to the Discord. Uh... I guess. <laughs> I guess. Burger. And today, all right, he Patchy, is going to be get ready to, to delete get me into Psy. So, without further ado, Asperger Psy, say hello. Hello. Greetings. Jesus Christ! Did you really have to go for it like that? You sound like you're out of <laughs> yes. Crash Bandicoot. What are you, Doctor Cortex? Okay, I said I love you to my brother. Asperger, Cortex, how much have you greetings? had to drink tonight so far? I have had at least a bottle and a half of wine. <laughs> It's pretty fucking bad. Wait, was was Asperger like an alcoholic or something? This is uh, this is one of the you know how like when the AA people come up to you and they're like, "Hey, how you doing, pal? I'm 28 days straight. This is the 29th day." <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should ask <laughs> well, me how much hey. I've been drinking tonight. Uh, how much no, have you been drinking, Sai? Zero, because I okay, I'm dropping this epic screenshot into my exclusive Patreon Discord server just for you, my friend. I am oh. still below the legal zero of because I have God on my side. Yeah, go, go come exactly. meet up to my yeah. AA meeting. I, you'll, you'll fit right I, in. I am a holy boy. Thank you very much. Holy boy. And yeah. I, well, the reason well, not I, I got news for you. I got news for you, little alcohol. cyborg. I got fucking news for you, little cyborg. Not all your fucking angels are going to let you grab their tits and fly around in skimpy clothing like your fucking <laughs> SNO bullshit. Are you, are, you, are you kidding? That's the point of heaven. Are you kidding? That's the That's, point of heaven. Heaven for you, Heaven maybe. is supposed you to know be what heaven like. Patchy's wife says, I listened to all the old Kinos and it made me sad. As my close personal friend, Dr. Seuss, once said, don't cry because it's over. Smile because it was autistic. Happiness. Like for me, you know what heaven looks like for me? My family died. 2017 was heaven. No wonder you sounded so fresh and full of spunk. I, somebody else in the chat said that I sounded more depressed back then. Uh, this video is 49 minutes. I, I don't know if we're going to go through the whole thing, but people wanted to hear it. In front of my eyes. That's what heaven <laughs> looks like for me. <laughs> All right, so get the fuck out of here with your little, no. oh, I need physical, I need physical pleasure, sins of the flesh in heaven, please. God's not going to put sins of the flesh in heaven. There's a whole fucking circle of hell for sins of the flesh, you idiot. Do you not know how much sex goes on in classical mythology and shit? Like, that shit's all over. God obviously Do you not know sex. how many people die from that sex? Just lots. A man you know, could masturbate. Then, then a man masturbated the on the floor. Sex a man came on the floor in the Old Testament and he died instantly. Okay, you have no idea what the <laughs> fuck you're talking about. If we could just slow down a little bit, Asperger, you have been very vocal lately with some choice words about Sai. You you say them to him on Twitter. You say them on Discord. You say them even when nobody's listening. So I, I was hoping we could go, you know, step by step through all of these, these, I don't know if they're criticisms or just suggestions or what, but to, to help Sai improve as a YouTube star, mm. I think he needs your advice. So what's advice number one here? Advice number one. Uh, this isn't going to be as funny as the other one, I don't think, but I, maybe, maybe he'll really start making fun of Sai, but I don't know if we're going to get as much of the degeneracy that we were looking for. <laughs> he's he's sad face because he remembering rusting cage. Patch can now take Mucky to the movies. Yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. And do I like peaches? Uh, not particularly. I'm more of a pear kind of guy. But uh, we can we can keep listening to this a little bit. Let's see if it gets any better is to pander to your audience. You have 
you have a very strong foundation. And this is not memeing. You have one of the strongest foundations I've seen out of anyone I've ever met for a YouTube community. Over mm-hmm. 100,000 subs. Monkey has worked like two fucking years to get even close. He's had his channels deleted. He's been flagged. He's been raped. He's been maimed. He's been garroted. Mm-hmm. And you just have this basic foundation that you have... Mumkey, are you even remotely spiritualist? Uh, I think the answer is no. Like, is that just a question of do I believe like in a soul or something? Because probably not. I think it's mostly just the brain. But... Had since I met you, you have always been over 100,000 subs. Granted, now you're like 110,000, but you have always been... Over 100,000 subs. And you squander uh, it I'm, by not... I'm actually 160,000. And you squander it by not pandering to your audience <laughs> and making more Undertale... Now, I'm in Sai's exact position. I have about 160,000 subs. And I wonder if Asperger's advice here could help me. Should I start pandering to my audience? Because I, I think the problem is when a channel's five plus years old... A lot of those subs are dead and gone, abandoned accounts, you know, stuff like that. So I don't know how to pander to something like that. If you guys have any suggestions in the chat, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Because I, 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 don't, I don't know why Medea and Monkey Movies aren't pandering. I don't know what these people are expecting of me. Oh, you better believe I've been to Eagleville, Missouri. Oh, big tw- big twelve ref. You you might see me in the waiting room, my friend. <laughs> the fact that yeah, you you know what's going on down there. Well, top ten videos. Uh, I can't deny that. Uh, it's true. I do have a massive install base for my channel, and I have not made an Undertale video in at least a month. Pandering is making wimpy kid videos. Well, I don't want to get sued. So I, I have to avoid pandering, I guess. Now, so that's that's a new record for me, honestly. So, I, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. Although, I will tell you right now that I do have a... Okay, so for a while now, the idea for the Undertale 10PYDKs is that when it became relevant again, or when there was, like, an opportunity for me to do so, I was going to, like, blow my entire load of trivia for the game and just do, like, 50 things you didn't know about. Yeah, this isn't going to be degenerate. It's just talking about his fucking YouTube channel. So I'm going to get out of that one. Oh, God, what is this? Oh, God! It's a direct sequel to what we were listening to. This is like two weeks later. Side tries to get Monkey into mind control. Oh, my God. And the artwork we chose is is terrible. I can't believe I put this artwork on YouTube. This is bad. The more I learn about this side guy, the less I like him. Yeah, let's see if I can show you what the fucking art for this podcast was. Uh, as <laughs> I, I can't move it. Click on the other one, you fucker. No, god damn it, OBS. Click on the other one. Yeah, look at this art. I had this up on YouTube. So I must have, like, gave me a recommendation. My God. It's a wonder why I was fucking banned. I, guess, I mean, this isn't particularly terrible, but it's disgusting. Go ahead whenever you're ready. Am I introducing it? Yeah. Uh, how drunk are you? You sound pretty drunk. <laughs> yeah, uh, did you made me chug a lot of booze. <laughs> did you lose? <laughs> what? Wow, this must have been right after an episode of Insufferable Social Media Argument or something, if Digibro made me get drunk on booze. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I fucking... Yeah. Retarded Social Media Argument is my favorite podcast right now. It's fucking great, and I love it. Uh, I, I like it when I don't gotta do it. Yeah, well... <laughs> but, by the way, whoever came up with... Major D says no need to point five this one. <laughs> The, what the name for slow motion suicide deserves a reward that's fucking hysterical of course it was digi of yeah. course it was digi well that makes me laugh every time I hear it yeah. so okay <clears throat> 
Monkey's too drunk to do the intro this time, so I'm doing it. Hi, everyone. My name's Sai, and this is... Open Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. Oh, man, I'm scared to listen to drunk me from seven years ago. I don't know about this one, folks. <laughs> who, who knows what I'm going to say? I regret some of the things I said in the other one, and I, I wasn't even the bad person on that. This is going to be bad. I think that, actually... that song is actually is um it's a it's an attack on the wealthy people of South Korea and he's making cuz they refer to themselves as like the Gangnam uh, neighborhood so he's like mocking them yes. and how how yeah you know I guess you wrote it so you would know. <laughs> yes, of course I did. I I wrote it. I know all the history behind it. Um yes. So yeah, I have heard that before though. Cuz I mean so I is this episode odds a slur will be dropped. 100% there will be a slur. So Sai gets Monkey into Gangnam Style? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. No, unfortunately not. Um, it, it seems you're already pretty well into Gangnam Style. <laughs> Snow Bunny God said, what the fuck? Last time I heard of Digibro, he was married. He's a homeless trans woman now. I don't think he was ever married. Uh, considering how you reference it in like every <laughs> fucking, like, fucking video description of this fucking podcast so far. Now, Sai... Uh huh. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to talk about this, but a little birdie told me somebody got laid, and I need to hear the details. What? Okay. Yes, I got laid. What? Oh, buddy. What? Mm -hmm. Everybody at home, post post clap clap in the comments, baby. Our buddy Sai got his dick wet for the first time, baby. Indeed, virginity gone, and it's all thanks to that fucking fedora picture on Twitter. It did it for are me. You, is that? Are you kidding or what? I'm kidding. Yes. Oh, God damn it. I don't know if you've noticed, Sai, but that fedora picture is now the profile picture for this YouTube account. Yes. <laughs> Wait, what? The profile picture? The profile picture for Mumkey Jones 2 was Sai in a fedora? I don't remember that at all. Yeah. Or just the in the banner. banner. That's both. Seriously? What the fuck? Yeah. Hold on. I'm looking yeah. this shit up right now. I, I do not believe that. I do not believe you. It's true. Holy a lot shit, of people it said, is. Holy shit. A lot shit. of people said they're going to unsub because they're tired of seeing your face. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Holy shit. I love that so much. <laughs> it lets everybody know this is the, the designated shit post channel. That is amazing. That's I where you are now. I no better profile picture for a shit post <laughs> channel. So what's the deal? So you met this bitch through YouTube or what? Um, She was a fan. <laughs> Just, I, I love, and I probably still do this every day, but I love my casual misogyny of just any woman is a bitch. I, I think that's one of my better characteristics. So, yeah. sort of. Does she listen to this show? Um, I occasionally... Let's hope not. Okay, well, sort of. Um, I occasionally force her to, and <laughs> although she While would not... While you guys not, have sex? Well, she would not, under any circumstances, uh, listen to the last one about gender bending. She was like, nope, <laughs> not doing that fucking shit, nope. <laughs> she so, didn't want to hear about how you have like a rape fetish I can't believe a girl wouldn't want to hear that about her boyfriend I know it's fucking insane I don't get <laughs> that's it that's weird anyways uh, so yes we do listen to it while fucking this podcast is what? wonderful fucking material for all you virgins out there looking to get laid I, hope he's I kidding. highly recommend playing this podcast over your first time it will make things See, go smooth now if Sai actually did lose his virginity listening to me and him on a podcast that is pretty cool but I, I'm pretty sure he's joking Smoothly as hell. I don't know if you're joking because, I mean, Digibro said when he had sex, she made him listen to his podcast. So I don't know if you're telling the truth. Or oh, this. God, that did happen. Oh. Yeah, Digibro did have sex listening to his own podcast. That sucks. That fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, my God. Seriously? No, first of all, I'm not telling the truth. Second of all, did that really happen? <laughs> Of course, she was obsessed with him. Well, I remember him talking about how he, she was like, like in the middle of sex, she was like, oh, explain fucking, uh, the, what the fuck did she ask him to explain? Ludo dissonative narrative. Yeah, Ludo narrative dissonance. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So in the middle of sex, she was like, explain Ludo narrative dissonance to me just so she could hear him fucking talk. But I did not know that she asked him to play a podcast while they were, that's, that's getting into weird territory. Well, hey, Pantsu, listen to your voice while getting railed by Phimosis Cock. Now, I don't know if if the girl that we're talking about was that girl, but uh, I don't really know the, the timeline of Digibro's 
female uh, antics. So it, it, maybe that was her. This is since this podcast is PCP light. It's like the you know the Junior Avengers, and we did a PCP episode of how I lost my virginity. We need to we need to hear Junior Avengers Sai tell us how he lost his. Ah, uh, fair enough. Um, so I guess uh, if you want to be on a Monkey Jones podcast. You have to just be willing to have no filter and answer any personal questions I ask with complete sincerity. Like Cy and Florian, they're everybody's favorite characters for a reason. They'll just let it all out. Met this girl online. She's pretty cute. I don't know if she wants me to reveal her actual name. I'll play it safe and go probably not. Um, So I met this girl online. We'll call her Deer for the time being. Because you can just call her what her fucking Twitter account is. You tweeted it. Eh, well, whatever. Um, well, her name on Discord for a while was was something deer, like sexy deer or uh, something like that. So I'll just call her deer. Um, Wait, Evan Fitzpatrick says that Cy is still dating this, this chick that he lost his virginity to? That would be an incredible story. But I don't know how you would have any information about that. Because I think it's funny that both of us have... Uh, fucking girlfriends named after animals. Um, it's like a fucking barnyard what? in here, am I right? What? Yeah. You... Oh, wait, you, you mean me, you and me? Yes. I thought you meant you and her both had a girlfriend. No, 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 no. <laughs> you and me. You have, that didn't you make have any sheep sense. and I have deer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, that didn't I think make any that's sense. funny. So, yeah. Whatever. I need to get a downy on the podcast one day. I'm sure we've had, like, you know, Down Syndrome Light on the show before. Anyways... So, okay. met Deer online. She actually contacted me. Um, we talked over Facebook for a while. Uh, I was, you know, in the, I was in the marketplace for, uh, you know, someone to fuck, basically. So, I was like, hey, <laughs> you know, why don't you come fly over to Texas We'll shit. Yeah, we'll drive to my parents' lake house because my my stepfather. Damn, fuck! He took this chick to a fucking fancy lake house to pop his own cherry. That's a pretty good story. It was absurdly wealthy, so we'll drive. Whoa, size stepfather is absurdly wealthy. He just lost uh, 10 Kino points, in my view. I've Shit. over to his lake house, spend, you know, like a fucking week there, and we'll fucking do it. And we'll have some fucking fun. Is that what happened? I thought <laughs> you went to Alabama. No, 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 no. I didn't go to Alabama. She's from Alabama. She came here. Okay. Yeah. So your tweet we... was confusing. Was it? I I thought your tweet said that you went to Alabama and then there's some fucking cute chick in a boat. I don't think I mentioned Alabama. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah. Then how did I say Alabama? How did I just come up with that off the top of my good head? Good point. That's a good question. I have no good clue. Good point. What what the fuck happened? Yeah, there's a glitch I... in the matrix. How did I know? <laughs> yeah, I have uh maybe I I did I mention it in that uh, driving blog? I have no idea, dude. Maybe. I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, she is from Alabama, and she flew down here to come meet with me. That's weird. Yeah. So, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why that's weird. Uh, I've been streaming for over two hours, folks. You know me. You know, I'm not a marathon streamer, so we might have to listen to more Psy next time. You know, the next uh, Chillin' Like a Villain stream in two years. But uh, I'll, I'll hang out with the chat for a few more minutes before I let myself go. Yeah, I, I do not have Aggie's uh, perseverance at all. Good night, uh, Spider or Spoodersaurus. Yeah, Aggie should be streaming within the next hour or two, I think. Can you re-upload the Psy streams? Uh, if you subscribe to my secret channel, Monkey Mafioso, maybe they'll all pop up in your feed later tonight. Who can say? Go subscribe. Link his channel. It's just S-Y-Y, Sai. Go check it out.
What are your thoughts on Iggy almost dying? Yeah, Iggy was in a car accident. I guess it was like really slushy and icy on a bridge he was driving on or something. And he, yeah, he kind of wrecked a little bit, but uh, he drove the car home. So it's not as totaled as it could have been. Uh, but that would have fucking sucked. Imagine after all this rusty cage shit, if Aggie like actually died, how would I even approach that? Like, <laughs> like all of my, any trust anybody would have on me would be, faltered at that point for me to then reveal an actual death in that way so thankfully eggy did not die so i wouldn't have to have a gee on my face i'll go listen to the big stream i missed while i walk yeah you guys really need to listen to the monkey and big show every week it's by far the best show on the channel you guys are missing out if you haven't been watching i'm glad no bridge accidents happened in the last couple days yeah me too Roblox Miner, what are you talking about? Don't don't say that kind of stuff in my chat. That's fucked up. What vehicle does Randy drive? Uh, let's pull up some Randy the Wild Horse videos. I think he does show off his car a little bit. I watch every Monkey and Big Show three times. Wow. Mingo, I hope that's not true. Oh, yeah, how was, uh, did you guys play some games with Biggs last night on his Discord? He said he was having a game night, but I didn't hear anything about it. Randy's driving a 2003 Mercury Grand Mark, or Marquis, Marquis? I don't know. Play the PewDiePie Randy video? I'm not familiar with this. Uh, I'll take a look, and then I'll, I'll play it if I can find what you're talking about. PewDiePie, okay. Review of PewDiePie, a garbage channel hosted by a classless guy. My God, Randy, I have to hear this. Okay, I got to get everybody on board for this one. Okay, Randy, we're about to watch a video you posted six years ago. <laughs> Got to zoom it out a little bit. Okay. I love the fedora, Randy. You are fedorable. Okay, let's do it. Live reaction right now to Randy the Wild Horse. Hey again, everybody. This is Randy the Wild Horse. And I'm going to talk about a channel called Pootie Pie. What is a pootie pie? Is it a pie that comes out of a person's other end or an animal's other end? I don't know. And believe it or not, pootie pie is the most popular channel on YouTube. Why? I don't know. I guess a lot of people like his channel. I saw a couple of his videos and I think they both stink, to be honest <laughs> with you. Yeah, he's just some guy that talks a bunch of mishmash and doesn't make sense. Well, a lot of my own videos don't make sense because at least I'll admit I don't make sense. And another thing about Pootie Pie, he hates mentally disabled people by calling them retarded, you know? Whoa! I got a relative. Randy, Randy. We use the word retard liberally on this show, Randy. And it's not supposed to be against the mentally ill. It's to describe ourselves you know we have the pass because we are all if you're in this chat right now you are retarded as am i randy says turn it off <laughs> that he doesn't like it he calls retarded and if you ever did that to my relative i'd stick my sas 12 wide foot right in his mouth let's go get oh, yeah. pewdiepie randy let's go get him i'm sick of it foot, tell you that i will show you that joker's channel He's got 59,978,883 subscribers. Okay, he's the world's largest YouTube guy. Okay. Uh, look, look at this. This is his um, uploads and 
A funny montage, funny montage part two, <laughs> Jabba the Hutt. Uh, well, I don't know. I, no, I'm not going to watch his videos, any of it, because he hates mentally disabled people. So game banning from kids. Uh, yeah, he likes to make fun of kids. He's a real class act, that <laughs> guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, deleting my channel. Yeah, why don't you delete your channel? That's but right. You won't. You just let's yeah. delete him, Randy. Let's delete him. It is this. All this. All this stuff is so unimportant. Like that. Just, I agree. Yeah. Makes me want to throw up. To be honest, I'm with ready. You. Yeah, we're coming for you, PewDiePie. We're coming for you. We got yeah, everything we this need. Is, this is this channel here. Ugh, not enough. Yeah, he's got a playlist. Uh, yeah, that's his playlist. Yeah, okay. Percy, the reason he doesn't feature other channels because <laughs> he thinks he's better than everybody else. So you know, true. Uh, especially the small channels. Uh, yeah, he, he like I say, he's a class act. That guy. That's what he is. He's a class act. Oh, 16,997,345,157 views. Wow, years. you read that number. Yeah, I guess he's mostly got the 18 to 34 crowd, which I wouldn't even think about it. Nope. There's email inquiries. Uh, oh, he's got a check mark. He's, <laughs> are you just, Randy, are you just reviewing, like, his literal YouTube channel? <laughs> like, what? Thinks he's officially famous, verified. Whoopee! I could check mark myself too, but I won't. Yeah. Oh yes, and uh, in his videos here, YouTube toughens ever payment rules. Yeah, he supports destroying small channels. You know, he doesn't care about poor people who only- Now Randy, I've not seen this video in question, but I would assume that he actually has the opposite opinion. Earn $4. Yeah, to a lot of kids, you know, four dollars or something. But I guess Pooty Pie's parents gave him his sports car with a high performance engine, plus all the gas.